Hi, I'm Alan Kelly. I'm the Senior Colorist here at Film Look Incorporated. And today we're going to take a look at stabilizing a shot that is wildly unstabilized. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. Uh, here we have a shot that I recently had to stabilize for a, a short feature a while back. And as you can see, there's a lot of movement here. Uh, not only of, of, of the car going down the highway, but also the, the camera's just not stable. And I suspect this was not uh, on a on any kind of mount or what have you. It's probably handheld going out the, uh, the side of the car window. And they tried to do the best they could to, to keep it stable, but obviously you, 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 you get what you pay for as far as uh, <laughs> not having a, a stabilization rig attached to your camera. So what we have to do, we have to do a little bit of stabilizing here. And we can do that by using the, the, the built-in uh, stabilizing in, in base light. And all I have to do is create an area tracker. And we can either make it small, really tight on a particular object, like for example the license plate, the back of the car, the car itself, or we can just go and, and kind of use the entire frame as, as, a, uh, as a point of reference for the stabilization software. Um, so let's kind of go with, with most of the car and maybe some surroundings. Let's track that forward. Okay, let that finish and then we'll come back. And we'll take a look at it. Let me take the cursors out of the way. So now it's a little bit more stable. The only problem is there's a, a slight problem with rotation. Um, and so what we could do is we could tell the stabilizer to kind of ignore certain parameters like for example rotating and scaling and let's take a look at that one more time okay that's still it's it's a little better now but the, the next thing we got to do is we got to remove the borders because since the camera is wildly going back and forth and going all over the place we have an issue with the motion uh, uh, kind, of, kind of parts of the frame going out of the frame and so we have to kind of zoom in ever so slightly to get, kind of get rid of those, uh, those borders. So we just click Remove Image Borders. Okay, and now we're stabilized. Now it's unfortunately, as good as the software is, it will not compensate for issues such as CMOS uh, a rolling shutter, um, maybe some other issues with the, the, the sensor. Maybe it wasn't quite as stable as they wanted it to be. Um, but for what it is, it's pretty good now. And in fact, let me give you a side by side here. Pass that. And put a two by two here. And let's take a look here. Get these together. There we go. So the, the footage on the left has been stabilized. The footage on the right has not been stabilized. And as you can see, it's pretty dramatic as far as the, uh, the end results here. And again, Final shot. And that's how we make things a little more stable in our lives. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.